Alright Josh here and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Spot Live series. Now, as I mentioned in the last episode, today we are swapping to a new team and that team is right here. It's a Xerneas team. Now Xerneas is uh, no stranger to this format. I think pretty much, God, I bet half the teams are running Xerneas and with good reason. It's very, very strong. Um, so I wanted to use the Xerneas team. Uh, one of the reasons was to just get a better understanding of how it works. It's not like a mod I've really ever used properly. And yeah, I just wanted to see like what people are using to counter it and just get the ins and outs of how it works. So obviously my starting point was the Xerneas itself. Very standard. Shockingly, we're running the Power Herb. We've got Protect, again, shockingly, Geomancy. Um, dazzlingly, my Moonblast. No cheeky uh, hidden power fires <laughs> from my Xerneas, I'm afraid. But um, yeah, pretty standard Xerneas. And then, uh, who else have we got? We've got we've got a Ray. Obviously, the next partner I thought of for Xerneas was Smeagol. Now, a massive thanks to Taylor for l giving me a, a Smeagol to breed from, a moody one, because that saved me so much time, so a massive thanks. I really appreciate that. And yeah, this Smeagol is Focus Ash. That's probably the best item for Smeagol. And... Yeah, we're moody, as I mentioned. Uh, now, the set's a bit weird, because obviously, usually you would have Fake Out on Smeagol. I've actually opted not to have Fake Out. I've got Spiky Shield, Wide Guard, which is very important. Uh, Sport, and Follow Me. Um, I did have Fake Out sometime, at uh, one point, but I swapped it for Spiky Shield, because there was times I just really needed to protect. Like, the main reason was, like, like, if my opponent goes Ludi Kyogre, Scarf Kyogre, Ludi super popular lead at the moment, right? My best lead for that is Smeagol and Xerneas. Because turn one I just double protected. Spike shield, protect Xerneas, blow Ludi's fake out, see what the Kyogre locks into. Whatever it locks into usually would be what it's about. So the next turn I can wide guard Geomancy and we should be golden to sweep from there. Which is why I have that. If there isn't time where I need to fake out, if I want to fake out in Geomancy, um, I just lead Incineroar instead of Smeagol. But Smeagol's just really good support. Follow me is absolutely fantastic for Geomancy as well. I can follow the taunts away, the roars away, the steel type moves away. It, it's, it's, it's great. Um, who did I, who have I had from the beginning? So the next one, um, Incineroar. It's not Assault Vest. We obviously had Incineroar on the last team. This is a bit of a different set. I'll stick all the EVs and all that good stuff in the uh, in the old um, description. And um, yeah, this is max HP, near enough max spe special defense. I don't think it's actually massively necessary to have a lot of attack in Civil War anymore. I'd rather have it survive more. We've got a 50% berry as well. I would honestly rather have it like that. It's, it's actually worked out a lot better this set. I really like it. I might. I'm still adamant though. May maybe next time, next team, if I use Civil War again, I might switch to boost in special defense nature or something and chuck some more in defense or something I don't know I'll see um, so yeah pretty basic in raw except oh yeah so we got fake out knock off flare blitz and the last move is raw uh, on my other team we had do we have oh we had snarl on the other team but I honestly didn't use that very much I think raw obviously I couldn't use raw on an assault vest in raw so I think actually raw is a lot better uh, next up we have AV katana I'll, I honestly I think katana's is good in this format but you have to either run it Focus Sash or AV. I don't, there's nothing else. <laughs> I really don't think it's any other type is good. So, unless you made it super bulky and ran something else, but I, I honestly think it's Sash or AV or, <laughs> or nothing. Um, obviously, we had the Sash on Smeagol, and I couldn't really take that off, so we did, I did go with AV, and it's really standard. I mean, we're adamant, actually. not a, We are adamant, so... I've, I've not really got that much attack investment. It's more in... Uh, more in speed, HP, and a bit more in special defense. A little bit, a little bit in attack. It was for something I can't remember exactly. It was a roll on something. Um, yeah, we got knock off smart strike, sacred sword, and leaf blade. You can't really get more standard. The next is the Kyogre. It's exactly the same Kyogre as we used in the last team. I, it's a bulkier Kyogre with a 50% berry. I like it. I've got no problems with it. It was good to go. I, I was having a bit of problem with, uh, with some with Groudon, playing against Groudon. So I decided Kyogre is the best, the best way to beat Groudon. And Katana's really good at that as well. And last is the Lele. Now it's not Scarf Lele, it's actually a bulky Lele with Psycho. 
Oh man, if you get Lele Le Le and uh, Xerneas next to each other, psyched up. It's uh, it's just sweeping central. Unless you're against like a Ferrothorn, but honestly, I've got ways to deal with Ferrothorn. I mean, Moonbuster's like 50-ish percent, 40-50 percent, and then Katana or Incineroar can finish it up. So I've, I've really not had that many problems. And even even Kyogre does a lot with Scald, and I don't think a Power Whip knocks out my Kyogre. If he's got no attack, definitely not. So yeah, the Lele is also running Psy Shock. Which I think is better than Psychic at the moment, and Moonblast, uh, boosted by the Fairy Aura as well, which is, which is ideal. Obviously, like I say, if you get Psyched up, it's just class. It is class. So, should we just jump into some battlers? Let's see how we get. Let's see how we go. I don't think I'm like the best with this team, obviously. Um, I don't think I'm dreadful, but I, I'm still. You have to be really careful of raw and red cards. Oh, red cards. I, I literally just presume every um, every Amoongus has a red card now. Honestly, I swear, if every Amoongus has red card, that's a that's a great item for Amoongus. Actually, it's perfect. Hmm. I have lost to some really fun stuff on Showdown though. I lost to a Driftblim with Haze. Didn't know if Driftblim got that. I also lost to a Driftblim with Clear Smog. Didn't know it got that. Clear, random Clear Smogs, random Hazes. Oh yeah. I lost to a Tentacruel with Haze. I didn't know that got Haze. Everything has Haze. Okay, so we're going to win. Oh, this is actually quite scary. So we're going to, uh, against Groudon, Xerneas. Meowstic. Meowstic? Meowstic? I don't know how to say that thing. Incineroar, Stack Attack Attack. And the Ludi. Yeah, Stack Attack was a bit of a problem originally as well. I had... What did I have instead of Ka I had something instead of Kyogre and I was struggling. I tried all sorts. Anyway, um... Like, I'm a bit scared of Trick Room. I'm a little bit scared of Trick Room. I could go... I could go Incineroar Katana. That's not dreadful. Do I want my Xerneas? I could bring my Xerneas. I should bring Lele. I'm gonna go Incineroar. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Do I want Xerneas? I want Kyogre. Do I want Lele? I don't think I need Lele. I'll bring Xerneas. Yeah, let's just go that. I'm not 100% convinced on this. This is a bit weird. I'm still, I'm still working out the uh, matchups. I d I'm doing okay. I've, like on Showdown, I te like I tested this team like all last weekend, like Friday night, Saturday. That's that's my new team. Weekend new teams. My wife works Friday nights. So I just literally sit at home with a few beers and just build some random teams, play all night, and then play some Saturday. And then usually by Saturday afternoon, I've got something half decent. It's actually Meowstic and Groudon. Wait, I need to know how to pronounce this thing. Meow, 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 something. Meow. Meowstic. I was right. Meowstic. Well, like. I'm trying to work out like what the name's supposed to be like. Mystic. Okay, getting the double. Um, getting the intimidate on Groudon's good. Okay, if you're Groudon here, you've got to be a little bit scared of um, Leaf Blades. So I might double into the Meowstic. Should I knock it off? Do you reckon that'll KO? Or will Leaf Blade do more? Actually, you no, know, I'm going to knock off Sodic. I'll fake out knock off. I think Groudon protects. Let's say B. Oh, there is that, my friends. There is that. Well, I do fake out the Groudon, though. Sir. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. You saw it here first, folks. Try to scarf Groudon. Uh, I'm going to leave Blade. Does that thing get Tailwind? Does it get Encore? Help me. I'm going to leave Blade Groudon. I'll switch into Kyogre. Do I want it? Yeah, sorry. Choice Scarf Groudon. I was actually thinking about that the other day. There's so many Choice Scarf Kyogres. Like, why is, why is Choice Scarf Groudon not being used? It's because it's not Fire type. If, Choice, if, if Groudon was Fire type, if it was Primal, Mm. It can't be primal. Well, I was gonna say choice scarf primal. Oh yeah, classic. <laughs> no, but if it was, um, I think you tailwind here. Does it get tailwind? We're gonna find out. 
Oh, is that your trick room in? I think that's a fast ground on though, so I actually might be faster with Kyogre. In trick room. I actually think I might be. If it's Choice Scarf, it's got to have some speed, surely. Who'd you bring in here? Actually, you can't really bring anyone into an Origin Pulse. It's going to do a hell of a lot to everything, apart from Ludi. I need to get rid of this stupid cat. Do I want to risk the miss? Yeah, sod it. Let's go, Origin Pulse. I should be fa I should be slower. I think if you're running Choice Scarf Groudon, you've got you've got to have some speed investment. Oh yeah, but if if regular Groudon was Fire Ground or Ground Fire or whatever, uh, Choice Scarf Eruption would be strong. Yep. Who are you going into? Ludi. Okay, that's actually fine because I'm because the rain's up. You're gonna be super fast. I mean. Ludi's probably going to go down to this. Maybe. Okay, I do hit both. That's really nice. Please bring ground on my kid. <laughs> Please bring ground. That's so weird. Eject button Ludi. This team's really odd. There's like loads of weird tricks. Oh, it's actually Incineroar. Okay, that was, that was smart. Okay, well obviously you're not really bothered about a, um... we know all the mons now anyway. Oh, I thought a leaf bladed in that slot. Okay, it does lose its berry. Now you've got to expect Groudon to come back in for something. I'll switch in my Incineroar, then I get Fake Out pressure next turn. I might as well just Origin Pulse again, I don't see why not. Even if Groudon comes in, it takes a chunk from Origin Pulse Groudon. To the point where I probably got a single target scold. Obviously, single target scold. Scold will knock it out. You've got to bring in Groudon. Fake out bringing Groudon. Just fake out something. I don't know. Timmy Doit. I'm not switches. Oh, yeah. How that changes the effects. Hmm. Okay. I need to get rid of this stupid thing. Let's go, Kyogre. Groudon. Ludi. Double switch? That's a good chunk of damage. That's fine. Get rid of my berry. Mm, it misses Ludi, it's not the end of the world. See you later, Incineroar. No way in hell you live in that. Magic Room. Huh. So, can I. I mean, I've lost my berry on um, Kyogre, obviously, but can I still use it? Are you gonna flare blitz plus scald knocks out? Eh, uh, plus origin pulse knocks out Groudon? Wait, 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 how can I lose this? I got Katana in the back, that's always good. It was Scarf, so I reckon I'm slower. I reckon I'm slower with Incineroar and Kyogre. I'm gonna double into it. I genuinely think I'll be slower. I really think I will be. And it's not that it can't have Protect. Okay, I'm slow with Incineroar. That was for sure. This is gonna do a lot. So close. Yeah, I am slower. I, I, I'm not really sure why my opponent set Trick Room. I suppose maybe they thought it was Scarf Kyogre. Which would make sense. It's actually Icy Wind in. That's, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm quite happy for you to Icy Wind, Ludi. Go for it. I have a super simple... I mean, I just... Flare Blitz the Ludi, I think. And. I might, I might just attack with both. Flare Blitz Ludi. If you grass stop me, I just get a free switch. It's 
four against two. I'm struggling to see how I'll, yeah. I was gonna say I'm struggling to see how I lose this now. I mean the trick room is a bit odd, but I guess if they thought I was scarf. That makes sense. Eject button Ludi. That's weird. Okay, so during that second battle I was just having, my computer threw an absolute wobbler. Uh, so the recording, I'm guessing, is probably a bit messed up. And I was faffing about and I completely threw the game. I was doing alright and then computer goes. And I was focusing on that. But it doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just have another game. And hopefully my computer is not going to mess up. It does. This, it keeps doing this weird thing where, like, heart. It's after a certain time I've been recording on OBS. The, the, the background goes all weird. Like, everything but OBS and my screen viewer, my 3DS screen viewer, um, stays. But sometimes it's alright. Sometimes it completely freezes. It's really. Weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Oh well. Found someone from Japan with a uh, 1500 rating, so fresh off the bat. Okay, um, so we've got an opposing Xerneas, we've got another Kyogre, look at the top, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> we've actually got four of the same Mons, but my opponent's got Ludi and Ferro. Um, Ferrothorn is not something I like to see, but it is what it is. I'm going to lead with Smeagol Zern. I'm going to bring... Hmm... Katana's really good. Like, Katana beats a lot of things. I want to bring Katana. Uh, but should I bring Incineroar or should I bring Kyogre? Kyogre beats... Hmm... I'm just thinking about that Ferrothorn. Incineroar, I won't be able to fake out if my opponent brings... 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 brings Lele. Oh, I have to be careful with this. Uh, do I bring Kyogre or Incineroar? Can't decide. I'm bringing Incineroar. Yep. I've chosen. We're going for that. Let's see how we get on. So, first time leading um, Zern, Smeg, Smeg Zern. See how we get on. Oh, this music's pretty good. Oh no, I know this one. I was thinking that, that beginning bit like threw me for a second. I was like, what's this? But I know it. <clears throat> Got the no nice, the Norse, the Norse, the nice um, starry shirt. It's actually Zern Ludi. <laughs> huh. Okay. Right, well, plan. Plan is this Geomancy. Wait, I think theirs was faster. I mean, Geomancy Spore. So, if... <laughs> I'm going to try and Spore the Xerneas, I'm going to try and Geomancy. So if I get if my Xerneas gets faked out, I don't get the Geomancy. Uh, yeah, I either put the Xerneas to sleep or I get Geomancy off, basically, is what I'm saying. So let's Spore. Wait, make sure I'm Sporing. Let's just Spore. Spore Xerneas. You've not got a Tapu Coco, and I'll Geomancy. One or the other is happening, so... That's absolutely fine by me. Who's he going for? Okay, so we get to spoil Xerneas. That's kind of clutch. At the next turn, I can follow me, Geomancy. Man, Smeagol's so good. It's so annoyingly good. <laughs> it's really annoying. Okay, so the opposing Xerneas is set up. Obviously, that's not the best for us, but it's not the end of the world. Like, for example, next turn, I'm hoping that uh, Smeagol goes down, and I can bring in Katana. That would be very nice. My special defense has fallen. What, what Rose? I wasn't looking. I need to pay attention to that. Oh, evasiveness. Okay, that's actually clutch. Okay, this is where <laughs> this is where Smeagol gets annoyed. So we're gonna follow me, and we're gonna Geomancy, and hope. We sleep. Good night. Oh no, it's got a guaranteed first turn, hasn't it? Good night, Xerneas. I've run out of water again. I need a like a, a water machine, like just here, next to my desk. That'd be absolutely ideal. How much reckon one of those is? Probably, probably quite a lot. 
Okay, Ludi switches out into Incineroar. Pretty just trying to buy turns, which is fair. I can respect that. Oh, you might roar. Uh, but if you roar, I can follow me, so that's okay. So you either fake out. Oh, actually, I could just spore Incineroar, to be honest. Fake out spore. Uh, yeah. Right, I'll, pick that spore. I'll just spore. I'll spore Incineroar. I should be faster. Or I could roar. I could spore or roar. Spore if, or get roared. Accuracy has... Mm, actually, that's bad. Damn you. Now I kind of have to follow me. Stupid Smeagol. <laughs> now I have to. That's annoying. I kind of want Smeagol to go down. I still got my focus dash intact. Then I can get um, I can get my my fake out in as well, which is nice. Okay. This. Sh oh wait, wait, he did wake up and he doesn't gleaned. Smeagol voyage. Oh my god, Smeagol seriously. Right. Well, I'll I'll wide guard next time. Oh my god, that Incineroar is so, so bulky. That's ridiculous. I did Geomancy, right? Oh my god. I did Geomancy, right? Jesus Christ. Wow, that is bulky. I'll Moonblast Incineroar. I don't want it to roar. That would be so bad. <clears throat> I still got my Focus Sash, what the hell? I don't. I, I really. The, the one thing I don't like about Smeagol is the evasion boost. That that's really annoying. That is that is annoying. Like my opponent should have KO'd Smeagol by now, but here it is still. So I, I do feel bad about that because I don't. I don't talk to you like that. I really hope the dazzling gleam though. That's the thing. Okay, Xerneas protects. I really hope Moonboss knocked this out. Actually, just that's, that was. <sighs> that really didn't take that much damage from that. KO. This should KO. This should KO. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> this Smeagol's a nightmare. It's actually a nightmare now. It is actually getting to the point where it's a nightmare. Okay, so I guess you bring in Ludi. Yep. Fake out. I'll just. Mm, I could try and spore Xerneas actually. I still got my focus sash. I'll just protect. I don't want to take a fake out. And Smeagol's evasion so far through the. is like quite high now. I'll just get the fake out off eventually. Good. And you moonblasted into thing. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> what is Smeagol now? I'm, I've, I've honestly lost track. What are we on? Evasiveness is through the roof. My accuracy is awful. My speed's bad. Okay, let's... Um, I'll follow me. Mm. I'm going to moonblast the other Xerneas. I need to get that thing out of here. Need to get that thing out of here. It might protect. <sighs> protect. Okay. Bye bye, Smingle. You annoying little thing. Please, KO. Just going off what Dazzling Gleam did, I guess it would. Yeah, okay. Clutch. And Ludi goes for Grass Knot. Focus Blast, bro. I, I'm at a loss. I'm not really sure why you did that. I'll bring in Cinderella so I can fake out whatever it is. If he's Kyogre, I'm expecting it to be Kyogre. If he's Kyogre, we just win. It is Kyogre. Okay, there was some turns of that that was a bit weird. That were a bit weird. Um, 
should be faster than both, so I can literally f fake out either or and KO the other one. So, this is pretty much over. There's literally no way I can lose this. I'll just fake out... What was Ludi? Life Orb? I think it's Life Orb, isn't it? Mm. I'll just fake out... I'll fake out Ludi and uh, Moonblast the Kyogre. I can't see us I can't see literally any way of us losing this. <coughs> That's not terrible damage, is it really? This should KO. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at the deer. So yeah, my opponent did miss quite a few attacks on Smeagol, which I do feel kinda of bad about. That that probably did actually end up mattering. But you know, I've got Katana in the back as well. It's hard to say. Like, uh, it was definitely scary for a moment this match. There was some. I don't know, I'll have to watch it back. But anyway, that'll be today's episode. Cheers for watching. Come check out the next one, and I'll see you all in a bit.